Hi everyone, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Horoscope. My name is Terence Gardino. The energy is going to be a bit more uplifting and optimistic compared to last week when the full moon really brought a lot of emotions to a head. And I talked a bit about the beginning of the Saturn-Neptune square that's going to be affecting the world throughout 2016. So there's still going to be this general kind of uh, uncertainty and worry. But on a more day-to-day -day basis, this is going to be a much better week. We're going to be a lot more hopeful. We'll be back to making travel plans. That is because on Tuesday, December the 1st, communication Mercury um, is going to be excellent with Uranus. Uranus is liberating. Uh, it's an innovative uh, Mercury to Uranus. We can be more open to original thinking, um, progressive ideas, but it, it awakens more excitement about our plans and expectations. On Friday, then the Mercury is aspecting expansive Jupiter. If you're not traveling on Friday, you're probably making travel plans or packing your bags and getting, re and getting excited and ready. This is a good time for um, uh, not only travel, but for learning. Because Mercury um, is the great communicator, it gathers information, it's very curious. Jupiter, as well as the traveler, is also the planet that seeks knowledge. And so when the Mercury aspects the Jupiter, our mind just expands with all kinds of curiosity and we can't absorb enough information. And Jupiter is very optimistic. So our planning and thinking and conversations are going to be a lot more upbeat. Also, pleasure-seeking, relational, social Venus that had been in Libra um, in, since uh, uh, November is moving on Friday into Scorpio. And it'll stay in Scorpio until the very end of December. Scorpio is passionate. It's intense. Um, I always say that when Venus, the planet of love and intimacy, uh, moves through Scorpio, that we play for keeps. Um, you're, if you're interested in somebody, you want to go all the way and make a commitment and profess your love. Um, or, of course, the flip side is that you don't want to be casual, you don't want to be uh, stringing anybody along, so you'll just become much more uh, decisive. We're either going to have a relationship and go for it 100%, or, we're, or you're just going to want to end it. But with Mercury in great aspect to Jupiter on that same day, it starts this cycle with more optimism, more pleasure, um, and the Venus Scorpio is just bringing more intimacy and uh, passion and intensity to all of our relationships. On Sunday, Mars is going to be great with the Sun. And Mars is also going to be aspecting Pluto. Mars is the warrior planet. Mars represents vitality, aggression, ambition, and motivation when it's favorable with the sun. So you're going to be feeling a lot more confident, taking more risks, really being more bold. It, in general, though, um, it's a day of a lot of activity. A lot of motivation. And at the same time, the Pluto's in hard angle to Pluto, which is more about uh, being more obsessed. So on December the 6th, on that Sunday, with Mars, with Sun, and Pluto, a lot of you are going to be um, in, a, in, a, in a very motivated, active day of getting, of being really busy, getting a lot of projects together, maybe preparing for the holidays. So overall, even though we still have 
to deal with our lingering fears and anxieties, I think we're really ready to um, be a little bit more optimistic and think uh, more about our holiday plans. So, but before I sign off, um, I want to thank you who have been ordering my one question offer for a nominal fee, uh, where you I requested that you uh, put the time of birth in your question. For some reason, and you're either forgetting or you're putting a.m., but it's really p.m., so this really helps a lot. You can find a direct link to uh, for my one question offer in the description area on the YouTube page where the where this video also plays. So I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, have a great week.